So just recently I was contacted by the guys at Insta360 and they asked me if I wanted to play around with the 360 camera, put it on my drone and fly it and see what I can get. So I told them, sure, why not? Well, first things first, this is not a sponsored video. Yes, they did give me the camera, but no, they did not give me any money or tell me what to make on the video or anything like that. They just said, here's a camera, play around with it, put it on your drone and see if you have fun with it. So my thoughts and opinions here are completely my own. So they sent me an Insta360 One, which is here, which is their latest 360 camera. So I need to get onto the drone, which as you guys know, is the ultimate selfie stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put onto my Mavic Pro. So let me open up the Mavic Pro. And by the way, keep these in the case because the, uh, there's the lenses on both sides. You don't want to get those damaged. All right, so let's open up the Mavic Pro here. And of course, one of the challenges was how do I mount this onto the Mavic? Well, just so it happens, they have a mounting kit. It has a hang mount that goes underneath, and then it has a top mount so you can put the camera on top. And these are kind of ingeniously designed. If you have a look at the top mount, what it does, if you look on the drone, you're gonna see there's little bits here where the, you push that in to take the battery off. Well, this actually works and fits right inside it. So you can just snap it on like that, open it up there, and then just attach the camera on the top. So that's the top mount. And let me show you right here. We're going to test this. Now the thing about the top mount, which is kind of cool, is it's going to show the drone in the shot as if we're above it. But what if I don't want to see the drone and I want to see the scenery underneath? Well, that's what the hang mount is for. So let me just take this one off really quick. And these kind of feel like they're 3D printed, which is fine. All right, so let's have a look on the bottom. So there's a little catch here, and then there's a couple of little catches here. And if you look at the design of the Mavic Pro, you'll notice that we've got the little catch at the front and two at the bottom here. So this actually just clips in. So if we go here, it clips into the front one, and then it just snaps onto the back here. And I can just squeeze that into position, and that feels pretty solid. So now I'm going to mount my 360 camera underneath like this. Let me put that on there. And so this is going to go this way. Notice I'm not touching the uh, the little uh, the lenses as I'm doing this. And I'll put it this way, and then we'll be able to fly with the Mavic like this. Now, of course, the catch is going to be, I'm going to have to, I know, no pun intended, but I'm going to have to catch land and take off in order for this to work. And that's not a problem because I catch land and stuff a lot anyway. So that's essentially the different mounts, how they work. And I say, you know, why don't we head out, take this to the beach and see what we can do with it. So we're heading out to the peninsula right now, to the very end of Balboa Peninsula, which is where um, the wedge is. And that's where I'm going to fly from. So guys, I'll see you there in one sec. All right, here we are. The wedge is right behind me. It's a real popular surfing spot here in uh, Balboa. It's a real backbreaker. All right, here I have my box. It's a GPC case. And I'm able to fit everything inside here. So if you look, I can get my drone in there. I took out one of the batteries so I can get my camera in. Got spare cards, both the mounts, controller and Mavic Pro. So let's get this set up and put it in the air. I'm gonna start with it on top. Um, 
let's see how this goes. I don't know how the balance is going to be on this. It might throw it off more than the other one, but at least I don't have to catch lands and take off the first one. But I see a bunch of dolphins over there. I don't know if I'm going to get there in time. Let's try it. start the camera and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a, a handheld launch but rather than try and rev it up and throw it up from my hand I'm gonna do it from the app so I'll hold it in position slide on the app for auto takeoff and that should work here's the takeoff This thing is wet. The camera's wet. The drone's wet. Got pretty close to that wave. Um, I'm glad I pulled up at the last second there. But I bet you we got some killer footage. First thing you're wondering, was that drone damaged? No, the drone was fine. I just wiped it off of my shirt. Same with the camera. It was just a little splash on the outside. Didn't affect it at all. Uh, there's a couple of things I noticed though. One of them when I was flying, when the camera was mounted above the drone, believe it or not, it actually felt a lot more stable than when the camera was underneath. When the camera was underneath, it kind of felt like it was a little wobbly. So I'm not sure what was going on there. And the other thing is the Insta360 One has 
uh, smooth track, which is stabilization. So that's why the footage is pretty stable while I'm flying because it's got that inbuilt stabilization working right there. So I'm actually going to upload the full VR360 video to YouTube right now and it's interactive so you can go on your phone, on your browser and if you don't have the glasses you can swipe around and have a look. It's going to take about an hour for that process so if you're trying to find it right now when I've just immediately uploaded this, give it about an hour and the VR will be working so for everyone else that's watching it tomorrow whenever it should be fine. Now what I'm going to do too, because I know I'm going to get asked, I'm going to put links underneath for these mounts and the camera and stuff like that. So if you're interested in maybe flying a 360 on your own drone, uh, check it out. So anyway guys, I'm really curious to get your thoughts. What do you think about this? Do you think 360 is a fad? Do you think it's here to stay? Is it something that you want to play around with? You know, the whole VR 360 thing? Or is it, you know, something that super excites you? Let me know in the comments underneath. If you like this video, smash the like button into dust. And as we always say, and if you like these kind of videos like tech videos, Photoshop and Lightroom videos, I upload a new one every single Tuesday and sometimes on Saturdays as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. And also you got to ring that little notification bell as well so you'll be notified whenever I upload. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.